testers and moderators are finally coming out. Welcome back to Creatures of Scenario's most controversial commentary channel. And no, we're not talking about them identifying themselves as gays or whatever. We're talking about them coming out about how horrible their work environment is with COS. Yes, we're talking about the COS testimonies card. Yes, thank you so much for everyone pinging me and DMing me about this. You know, I hope you guys enjoy and I'm gonna give my, you know, very harsh and very strong and vetted opinions on these matter. So you guys know me, this is a controversial commentary channel and I'm gonna give my opinions. If you don't like it, you know, I, I don't know why you're watching this, kind of confuses me as well why you would click on it and then complain about how I'm in your suggestion channels. So, <laughs> so yeah, um, just don't click it honestly just just don't even watch it so yeah this video is gonna have many many parts because i kind of want to milk content out of this I'm, I'm i'm just being dead serious with you guys this is a very famous thing that's being talked about everywhere in COS community i kind of want to milk it so i'm gonna have different parts of it so i can get more views and more you know yeah, yeah all those jazz i'm just being straight honest with you guys i don't i don't want to act like i'm being self-righteous and whatnot i'm just gonna be a douche about this entire thing so yeah <laughs> being honest so i'm just also gonna be the tldr of this entire card document whatever you want to call this i'm the tldr i'm just gonna skim through it you guys can read it yourself link is in the description and yeah again i'm gonna have harsh opinions so if you don't like it um click off don't watch whatever i don't care so first page it said it's important and that you know people should read this before making any uh comments or st making stances and whatnot and that they should read it just themselves entirely and which is true you should read this before you agree with me or disagree with me read this in its entirety again link is in the description please read it it's very important that you get the full clarity of the entire thing so after reading this you know they also talked about how hey that this this card was first made to like make awareness and to clear the names of a few people and then after clearing those people's name they realize how bad he was work environment is and that they're making this because they want to change and that they're just saying how they want to encourage people to read these and whatnot and how they thank the active volunteers and that they can't talk to the hr so you know in case hr is asking that asking them why didn't you come to uh come to us they're saying that hey we came but you just don't care about us you you know asia you know and blah 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 blah, blah all those jazz and whatnot read it yourself really and they also talked about how there will be res references about the recognized creator document and that none of those creator like related to that document is all is involved here and that none none of them is working along with this document you know all these clarifications and whatnot because they don't want you know innocent people to be brought into questioning and <laughs> to be like ridiculed or to be blamed for things which is very fair and i'm very I i'm very glad that they do this um but honestly, the contributors are doing absolutely nothing. So a little bit of drama would be fun for them as well. <laughs> I'm just joking. But yeah, and they said how their end goal is not to like point out the flaws, blah, 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 blah. And that they just, they really just want the change and to inspire change. And so that HR would finally hear them and that they just want the best for the community and whatnot. Which is very noble, very honest, but I have my own fair share of opinions on this. First thing first, um, this card, this slash document, this inspiration of change finally came in only when they had to clear some of their people's names, which is funny to me because many of these documents never exist until one of their people is in trouble and they're trying to clear the names and suddenly they become self-righteous and noble people trying to change and like develop and do better for COS and yada yada yada. Why didn't you guys make this card beforehand? Because the people who are making this card are no doubt volunteers who have already known and acknowledged Siwa's horrible work environment supposedly. You know, you guys are volunteers. I know you know that you know all of this. <laughs> we all know that you know all of this. And you only chose to make this card and conveniently make and talk and inspire change about Siwa's work environment. One, you guys had to clear your own people's name, which I find ratty and very scummy. It's just funny when you guys are not in trouble you don't care and when you're suddenly in trouble you have to be like captain america all over it so yeah <laughs> very very nice it was very nice job volunteers you guys are very very noble people <laughs> 
But yeah, and one of the um paragraphs that I don't agree with is that these active volunteers are having everyone support and thanks. Um, no, you don't have my thanks, not a single bit. You don't have my support. You have none of it from me. Why? Because you guys are the arms and legs of this headless chicken called Sona Studios. You guys are what make what's making them run. You guys are what's making them function. You're the very foundation of this entire studio, and you guys are letting them ruin the game. Don't keep blaming it on HR, please don't. It's just getting annoying. Like, you guys are enabling this. You guys are letting this happen. You guys are creating the fuzz. You guys are creating conflict, division between the communities. You guys are just pointing the fingers up and never at yourselves. You guys are always right. You guys are never wrong. That's the bad part. Like, it's it's exhausting whenever I hear from you guys talking shit about COS or trying to, like, point the finger high up at the HR and never at yourself. It's getting It's getting tiring. Okay, it's really tiring. Um, it's honestly just getting... It's giving me a headache, honestly, to, to hear you guys talk so badly about the people you work with while also reaping benefits from them. Like, if you really genuinely don't like it and find it toxic and whatnot, leave. Seriously, just walk out. If all of you walk out and massively quit, see what's just gonna crumble and no new people is gonna look at it and be like, wow, I wanna join now. No, they're gonna be like, wait, why did all of them leave? I don't wanna join this supposedly toxic environment. So yes, you're not staying because you want to protect the newcomers and whatnot. Stop being self-righteously stupid. You're not doing that because of that. You don't have nobility and stuff like that in your blood. You just, you're just there because you get free shit, free benefits, while being able to talk anonymously behind their back. And it's just rude. Imagine working for someone and you're talking badly about them while they're like rewarding you and stuff. Even if it is an actually toxic environment and you have every right to vent about it, then leave. You're not even getting paid. You're not even getting like finance from it. It's, it's just free labor with a few like digital creatures and whatnot. And you guys are <laughs> complaining about this. And when you can just leave and start new, I, I just never understand the volunteer mentality. Like, oh no, but it's so hard to leave. Like, it, then stop complaining, <laughs> honestly. If it's so hard to leave, then don't leave. Stop complaining as well. It's just annoying. You guys are not getting paid. You guys are not going to destabilize when you leave. You're just there. You're just helping them ruin the game by being there and supporting them. Just, you know, walk out, stop. That will make a different change, a, a definite change. And that would actually be something useful of you guys for once. And yeah, so... No support from me, no thanks from me. Seriously, start blaming yourselves as well. Okay, you guys are not doing this for anyone but yourselves. Scummy, ratty, talking someone's behind someone's back and staying there, calling them toxic but working there while getting no finance and whatnot. That's just stupid. That's just slow. But yeah, going down, they also mentioned about how anyone would do you know, card link is being server muted, which is fair. It could just be silvers, you know, silencing them and whatnot because they're very known for it. Or they could also just be worried because, you know, some weirdo is having their link in their bio saying, hey kids, you should definitely read the link in my bio and stuff. They could just be doing this because they're potentially worried about it being a harmful potential link like that could hurt their impressionable audience and player base they could just be doing that but again Silvers is known for silencing people so you know i'm just saying the next page is you know just guidelines and dos nothing too special um but yeah this part oh my gosh this part is so interesting okay so i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna go through it pretty quick uh so they're talking about how you know, read the entire thing before making any conclusions or spreading misinformation, yada yada yada. Speaking about this, this is the supposed continuation of my previous video talking about how testers were doxers, yada yada yada. And even though I so very very much emphasize on the fact that my entire video is what ifs and mights and to take my video with a grain of salt, literally said that. And even though I said all of these disclaimers and whatnot in my video, somehow people still believed that it was real. And somehow, people thought I was spreading misinformation. And I, I, I cannot fathom the amount of brain-dead people that came to me and started yapping to me about how horrible of a person I am for spreading misinformation. 
and even when i ask them if they read the, uh, if they actually watch the video they tell me that the clickbaity title and the thumbnail is alone is enough to take my video down and whatnot which is so silly and my head was just like throbbing with like just oh my gosh like did i lose several brain cells talking to each of them at some point i swear i'm gonna become as dumb as them like is there a dictionary like have you ever seen what the word misinformation actually means like is there a dictionary you have have you even do you even know what a dictionary is is that like way out of your vocabulary but, but you know i'm just pointing it out there a few people came into my dms like this fellow person whatever and another person kind of funny how one of them didn't like the fact that i use i called them retarded and the other is like calling me retarded it's just funny it's it's, it's really funny but yeah I'm gonna go through this, you know, summarizing it. Um, basically, you know, a group of people were joking about a COS, uh, one of the COS mods getting docs and whatnot, and apparently only one volunteer was the one making that joke, and I hope they're punished. And other people who are just there got banned for association, even though they did nothing wrong, yada yada yada, and they have anonymous one who said they never participated in the doxing jokes and that they were reported and that they had to call with Toasty and Cena to like show them the facts and whatnot and this paragraph was worded in a way that made them feel like you know that made it feel like anonymous one was forced by Cena and Toasty to screen share which is kind of silly to me because anonymous one is like a volunteer and Cena and Toasty are equivalents to their boss basically if you're not gonna screen share your bosses that, you know, you supposedly made doxing jokes of another employee, like another colleague, then, I mean, like, what's the use of you being their employee slash volunteer, you know? You're not cornered to to do this because they're too higher up, so you, you just kind of have to do it because you work for them, you work with them. And if I were the employ employer as well, I would be annoyed if someone is like being accused of like doxing another employee of mine. Of course, I would like to see evidence and make them screen share. So yeah, this is just, I don't know, it just feels so victimizing. But yeah, going on, basically, people were issued bans and warnings, yada, 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 from games and servers because they were doxing even though there were never proper evidence i don't know how much i believe that but sure going on they sent some screenshots and they also said about how banned in the game and server was an extreme punishment that it should only be reserved for extreme cases i mean honestly doxing someone and joking about it is i mean like joking about doxing someone is is an extreme case i don't know how and why you would say this is immature maybe because you guys are the one who got who got banned for making those doxing jokes <laughs> maybe that's why you guys are calling it immature but it is an extreme case for me and you know it, it was a valid valid punishment and considering you guys were volunteers that makes it a lot worse a lot worse but going on we have this conversation with Anonymous One and Cena. So apparently in this entire thing, Cena was just confronting them about how uh, how they were doing this and that and that there were evidence and that they were being demoted and that the decision is unappealable and all that. And they also explained to them that, you know, this is that this this is also you participating in this because you chose not to report this behavior at any stage and yada yada yada. Which Cena makes a great, great point. I honestly agree with Cena. This is a great point. You are a volunteer. You are working for this company, by the, for the studio. And as a person who's working for it, you have every obligation, every need to report a behavior of another colleague or an employee or whatever, acting rude or just menace to like another colleague or your studio you work for. You have to report this. This is this. It's just silly if you don't. Like, you didn't report it whatsoever. You should have. You could have. Yeah, you didn't. And anonymous one themselves see their fault, and that you know they accept their ban, which they should have been for just being a useless volunteer, honestly. And it's what gets me is that. They're the type of person to say, I understand, it's my fault, I take the ban, whatever. And then later, b 
bitch and moan about it to like friends and then make an entire document <laughs> to go against and paint Cena as this horrible person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just scummy. If you don't agree with the band, tell them you don't agree with the band. If you say you agree and make this entire point acting like you don't, then that's just a little cop out. That's just a cop out. Just you know, don't do that. That's a little scummy. You were a useless volunteer, and now you're just gonna have to like gonna have to deal with it but no you want to make some notoriety out of this and good for you then anonymous one i don't know who you are actually i do know who you are but i'm not gonna name you i respect i respect this document so yeah um okay at first then suddenly they want to make a document against cena wow and they compare their case with like random people just talking about doxing and whatnot as if making an entire server and talking in that server secretly behind the admin's back while being volunteers about doxing another person isn't any isn't worse than just random jokes in the server wow the comparison is crazy but yeah, apparently afterwards um toasty and cena like go went around apologizing people and <laughs> If COS, if you did genuinely do a mistake in banning them without evidence, again, Sona Studio, your moderation team is just so bad. Just ban everyone. Just reinstate new mod moderators, especially Toasty. Obviously, the moderation under her administration is very horrible. She's like, she's like Commissioner Gordon in like Gotham City. It's it's just trash. Her her moderation skills are just trash. Just reinstate her or whatever if she was genuinely did more mistakes which is not new by the way because she was is known for making bands that are completely unfair and unjust so if that's the case again please just change them please honestly but if they're not and they're just doing this for pr purposes and they just want to make themselves look better because they don't want a mob of people at their front gates if that's the case then that's kind of that's also a cop-out which is not which is not good you stand on your ground you fight on that hill and you die on that hill okay if you're not gonna do that then what's the point in your rule there's no respect and dignity in that i like i like cena's apology though cena is very very interesting because i don't know i kind of want to talk with the cena person cena kind of just said they were sorry and all these things and they also said they justified why they did what they did and they also talked about PR reasons. So it's very interesting, much more, how do they say, authentic in what they said compared to Toasties was just like saying, it's my fault, I'm sorry, like forgive us type of thing. So Cena's apology, I genuinely like way better. And yes, it is the anonymous people's fault for not reporting them as volunteers. If they were regular players, I wouldn't say anything. But as volunteers, you should have reported this. Like, if you have a criminal in your house and you know this and you tell the cops that, hey, I don't know what a criminal is, you are housing a criminal and you are also a criminal. If you see a crime and you didn't, you know, report it, you could have avoided, you could have avoided a case, you could have helped a case, you could have done something. And by just simply ignoring the reporter, you're just as bad as the person who did it. Okay, that's my opinions on this. And I just thought that these apologies were very unnecessary. And Cena, hit me up. I want to talk with you. So going on, this little page, I genuinely don't care about. It just feels like them wanting like some, I don't know, just some pity, I guess. That, oh my gosh, guys, look at me. We got step block, de death block, whatever. I mean, oh gosh, seriously, who cares? Really, really, who cares? Who cares if you have these blocks on your rules? Why why did you dedicate an entire page to show us this? Like show us this why? I don't know. It's it's uh, they say like they would appreciate if speculation is kept to a minimum. Like why would you even bring this up? It's really useless information. Well yeah. I guess this is part one. I'm going to conclude the video off and I'm going to make different parts for like different volunteers and their own testimonies. So, yeah, um, this is part one and this is already a very long video and I'm thankful to whoever can watch these videos and just be okay in the background. <laughs> Honestly, I would have lost my attention span. But yeah, thank you if you're still watching. Thank you very much. You guys are very chill. And we'll talk about the seven, I think, 
volunteer testimonies individually later on because I have a lot of strong opinions for each and one of them. So we'll see you another time. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Tell me your opinions on the comments below. Bye-bye.